This is section 5.2, the definite integral, content objective 2, which is to approximate integrals using Riemann sums. The language objective to accompany this is, I'd like you to be able to discuss the similarities and differences between problems in this objective and problems in chapter 5, section 1, objectives 1 and 2. Example 1, we are given a table of values for continuous function, and then we're asked to use three equal subintervals on the interval from 0 to 12 to compute a left-hand Riemann sum for this definite integral. This is exactly like what we did in Chapter 5, Section 1, except now we have this new notation. This is the exact sum going from 0 to 12 on that graph, and we're going to approximate it using some rectangles. So we want three equal subintervals. That means our delta x will be 12 minus 0 over 3, which is 4. So I'm going to have widths that are 4, which means I'll be using the left hand x in each subinterval and the y values that go with those x's. So the left hand Riemann sum approximation will be delta x times f of 0 plus f of 4 plus f of 8. Add that all up and we get 40. With example 2, we are given an accumulation of a function and I want to approximate it with four inscribed rectangles. Now inscribed means I need to have the smallest y value in each subinterval. So this is going to require some graph. So you can see here that I've graphed this polynomial, which is a parabola. It opens up and it has its vertex at the point 3, 0. I want four inscribed rectangles of equal width on the x-axis. So that means I'm going to go from 0 to 4, and my delta x will be 4 minus 0 divided by 4 will be 1. So I'm going to have four rectangles, and inscribed means I need the smallest y value to come from each. So notice in this subinterval that the lowest y value is the 0. Same thing for this subinterval. So I will be adding up. That integral will be approximated by the delta x, which is 1, times the height that comes from 1, plus the height that comes from 2, plus the height that comes from 3, twice. And if we plug each of those in, we will get 1 times my f of 1 is 4, my f of 2 is 1, and my f of 3's are both 0. So I end up with an approximation that is 5. With our third and final example, we're going to use 20 subintervals with the right rectangular approximation method to estimate this definite integral, which is the accumulation from 1 to 4 of the log natural of x with respect to x. I graphed that for us so that we could see that that accumulation from 1 to 4 is actually going to be the same as the area under the curve from 1 to 4, and we're chopping it into 20 different rectangles. So we should remember from section 5.1 that our RAM will be the summation starting with i equals 1 up to n of our delta x times the function evaluated at a plus multiples of delta x. So in the context of this problem, we can figure out our delta x, which will be 4 minus 1 over 20, which is 3 twentieths. We know that our a is 1, and we know that our n is 20. So we can go store this function, f of x, which is ln of x, we can put that into our y1 in our calculator, because I don't want to by hand do 20 different rectangles. So what that means for us is that this definite integral from 1 to 4 of the ln of x with respect to x will be approximated by the summation from i equals 1 to 20 of our 3 twentieths times y1 of our a, which is 1, plus our delta x, which is 3 twentieths, times i. So to put this into our calculator, we're going to need the summation. We're going to need our function stored in y1. We're going to need this i, which is our index variable, and we'll need to tell it that the index goes from 1 to 20. So if we look at the calculator here, we can see that I have put log natural of x into y1. And we can see on the home screen that we have done the sum of our delta x times y1 of our a plus delta x times that index letter i. We've told the calculator that the index is i. 
and then we've told the calculator that I will go from 1 to 20. Close off the summation command, do diamond enter, and you'll see that our approximation is 2.648. And we're done.